Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to call this video Drawing in the Negative. I just got through drawing this boat wheel, basically for myself, just playing around. And I had a clip art, and if you look at it in a, with a yellow background, I'm going to go to Object, Order, Back of Page. You can see it's a clip art, and you can see that we got white in my drawing. I haven't taken the drawing apart yet, so I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. And what I meant by drawing in the negative is it traced, but it didn't trace very good. So every one of them is a little bit different and so on and so on. And so if you have this in the center of the page, we can smart fill that white in. And then we can move our object out of the way and you can see how it's not symmetrical. We're gonna go ahead and take it and put it, get your four point line and put it more in the center of the page. And then I'm gonna left click, right click. I'm gonna convert that to a hairline. I'm using somebody else's file they sent me the other day. I don't work in millimeters. Matter of fact, I'm gonna change that right now. The inches, that doesn't really have anything to do with it. Control D and make a duplicate of that guy and then I'm gonna mirror it. And that's what we have. So now I could do a number of things and I could take my smart or my virtual segment delete key and delete these inside lines. Don't really have to do anything else. Take this uh, smart field tool and fill that in. And then I'm gonna nudge it right back. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need to rotate it to 45 degrees. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to change the rotation of the center. I'm going to rotate that 45 degrees. Control D, control D, control D, and so on. So what I did by doing that, I made the inside of the ship's wheel even and symmetrical. It's not perfect. I would change it up a little bit, make it a little bit thinner. But then I can take a an ellipse and hit P, holding down the shift key and make it, go ahead and get my pick tool, holding down the shift key to make it like that and I can go like right to there. And now I can fill this in and now I have the entire interior part of the shift wheel and it is perfect. Might not be the best drawing, but it's, it's, uh, it's good. Now we need to do the same thing to the outside. So we'll take rid of those. We'll bring this back in the center page by hitting P. And you could play around with this and get this thing a little more even up here. But as you can see, the, this is sharp and that one has a flat point. So we're gonna take a two point line and we're gonna try to go from like the center of that up and then go from the center of that up and then move the don't do that. Grab your two point line again and go from that node to that node. And now I'm going to smart fill this and move it out of the way. And you can see the difference of the trace. Now I'm going to left click, right click and actually turn into a hairline just so it uh, a little more visible. And now I can take it and control D and mirror it. Now I get a totally different look. Let's zoom in here. And what I'm going to purposely do is get rid of that little notch. I'm going to get rid of notch on the inside. I'm going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. And I think that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool and I'm going to fill. See my yellow box stopped it from filling. So let me get the yellow box out of the way. Get the Smart Fill tool again and fill that in. And this is why I kind of work in the center of the page because now I can get rid of this. I can take my Smart Fill and move it over. I can left, left click no fill, right click an outline. And because it's the same distance off, and now at this point I could change some things. 
I'm going to take the smoothing tool and make this a little more rounded in the middle, kind of contour to the shape. I think else, everything else looks pretty good. It's symmetrical. And because I'm in the center of the page, I can control D. You know what? It's not exactly in the center. Let me hit P. Get rid of that one. Now, well, back up here. I want, I want the top about the top of that so my drawing will be uh, realistic looking. So I can hold down the control button after I start moving and just move it up to the top of that line. Now I can control D and make a duplicate. Move my center of the rotation to the center of the line of the page, and I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees. And I do want them overlapping for numbers, numerous reasons. And now I can take the smart fill tool and fill that in. And while I have the outside of the page, let's take all this away, hit P, put that back in the center of the page, left, left click, right click, and now I'm going to draw an ellipse and hit P and hold down the shift key and make it a little bit smaller. And now I can fill this in with black. I'm going to nudge it out of the way a couple of times. I'm going to get rid of all this junk. Hit P, put that in the center of the page. Hit P, put that in the center of the page. And now I just need to make a couple more circles to kind of make it, and I don't have to, but I'm going to take the ellipse again. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. And if you don't need, well, let's just make one. So I'm going to hit the plus sign this time. And then with the pick tool, I'm going to hold down the shift key to grow that line. And then I'm going to hit the plus sign again and grow that line. What the shift shift key does, it keeps it from, keeps it from growing to the inside. Now we can take the smart fill tool and fill that in and fill that in. And you have a boat steering wheel. You could do a lot with this. You could select it, right click, no outline, so it will not cut in just in case you get anything. So now everything is symmetrical. And I think it looks pretty good. So that's what I would call drawing from the negative. Hope that made a little bit of sense, and thank you for watching.